In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the 2023 VC Maths Method Sample Exam 1, Question 1. We've got, let the function f, where f of x is defined by the given rule. On the axis below, sketch the graph of f, label any asymptotes with their equations, and endpoints and actual intercepts with their coordinates. Looking at the rule of f of x, this is going to be a graph of a hyperbola. For a hyperbola, we need to work out the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes. For the vertical asymptote, we let the denominator equal 0 and then solve for x, and so this is going to be the line x is equal to minus 2. The horizontal asymptote is going to be the constant that's added to the fractional part, and so this is going to be the line y is equal to 1. To find the y-intercept, we let x is equal to 0 and then solve for y. And so doing this, we're going to get y is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 plus 2, which is just 2, and so this is going to be 1 and a half, which is the same as 3 on 2. For the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0, and then solve for x. And so doing this, we're going to get 1 plus 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 0. Rearranging this, this is going to be 1 is equal to minus 1 over x plus 2. Cross multiplying, we're going to get x plus 2 is equal to minus 1, and so x is going to equal minus 3. Now notice that the function has a restricted domain. The left hand side is restricted to from minus 3 to 2, and so the end point is going to be when x is equal to minus 3. And so we need to work this out. And so to work out the coordinates of the endpoint, we need to evaluate f of minus 3. And so this is going to be 1 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 2, which is going to equal 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. From here, we draw the asymptotes with a dotted line and then write down its equations, marking the intercepts and their coordinates, and then finally we sketch a positive hyperbola passing through these points and approaching the asymptotes. Now just make sure that you sketch the graph for its specified domain and to have the left end point to have a filled in circle. Find the values of x for which f of x is less than or equal to 2. The line y is equal to 2 is going to be this line and so for f of x to be less than or equal to 2 we're going to need to have the x values in this region and in this region. And so we need to work out the x coordinate where f of x is going to equal to 2 in the first quadrant. And so if we let 1 plus 1 over x plus 2 equal to 2, solving for x we're going to get 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 1, which means then x plus 2 is going to equal to 1, which means x is equal to minus 1. And so therefore the x values for which f of x is going to be less than or equal to 2 is going to be for the values of x where x is in the bottom region from minus 3 inclusive to minus 2 not inclusive or from minus 1 inclusive to infinity. And that's it for this question. Now, if you guys want to practice or learn exam style questions similar to this one, then join the Maths Methods Club where you can group past Maths Methods exam questions by topic. And then when you log in, click on functions and graphs from the main topics and then click on power functions from the subtopics. Go to question type and select take free and then click on filter. This is then going to instantly group all the past Maths Methods exam questions related to power functions in exam 1. Go through these questions and see how you go. And if you get stuck, you can just watch the video solutions. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.